My junior year of college, I called my mom crying. I'm talking the ugly cry, where you don't have control over your breathing and you sound like you've had a stuttering problem since you were four. The cause of all this distress? I got a C- in a class. After that phone call, I realized how screwed up the education system is and how screwed up it makes you. You'd think that my cat had gotten ran over by a car, when really it was just a subjective letter thrown at me by a flawed evaluation system. But I felt like I'd let everyone around me down, including myself. I've always gotten straight A's, I'd never known what a C felt like, and the fact that it made me break into hysterics sickens me now that I look back on it. A letter doesn't mean that I learned any less than anyone around me, or that I don't take my life seriously. Just as all my A's don't mean that I'm smarter than a C student. Everyone is different and everyone has a different learning style, so how can we effectively evaluate everyone with the same scale and criteria? Taking tests is a breeze for me. I barely study, but somehow I retain the right information and can spit it back out on paper when needed. However, I have several friends that work way harder than I do and study themselves to tears and still do horrible on exam day. How can that be fair? Test anxiety is brought on because of the fear of a bad score, but really, what constitutes bad learning? I understand that grades are meant to motivate students to do their best, but when their best is at the mercy of their peers around them, the negative consequences start to outweigh the benefits. One of my favorite quotes comes from Albert Einstein, who so aptly pointed out, Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it's stupid. Maybe students need to be encouraged rather than motivated. Maybe they need positive energy rather than the fear of failure. I know, I know, I sound like some hippy-dippy progressive from Northern California. But I truly do believe that our education system needs some serious reform. We don't necessarily have to get rid of grades, because people seem to think that that means we're lowering our expectations for our students. But it's not that. Looking more closely and reevaluating our evaluating process would only stand to improve student learning and teacher teaching. If teachers didn't have to worry about class statistics and being put on a government list and all that garbage, maybe they could spend more time creating more effective lesson plans. If grades and tests were given less weight, contextual learning and actually putting the material to use could play a bigger role in the classroom. And isn't that the goal of school? to learn things that you can apply in your life afterwards? Last time I checked, my employer isn't going to be interested in my ability to answer 50 questions in an hour. So I say to hell with grades. Let's make learning fun again like it was in second grade. But for the record, since we're not at that stage of positive reform just yet, I still like an A on this assignment. I can't stress my mom out again with another ugly cry phone call, especially right before graduation.